they ain't believe me. These niggas die to me. Look what I'm becoming. I did it, made a man of me. All the that I did, I swear my mother. What it do, YouTube? It's Ty Fatty with the Fatty, and I'm back inside another video, man. You know why we here to handle business. Before we handle that business, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna say it again. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna say it one more. Matter of fact, like, comment, subscribe. Before I gotta beat you up, y'all know what's going on. Instagram right here, man. Tap in with your boy. Hit that follow button. DM me questions, comments, concerns, video recommendations, video suggestions. Say what's good, bro. Y'all know I'm going to hit y'all back every time. Pause. We got Chirac Street Le Legends, episode 92. Big A, the queen of drill. I just dropped a video yesterday on 051, and they mentioned Big A. And what a coincidence. Street News TV popped up with a video on Big A. So we about to tap in, man. Let's get it. Good morning to all my good fellow, fellow brethren out there. You hear me? All my, all my, all my good fellow young ladies out there. You hear me? I told y'all, y'all, I'm foot off the brakes, man. All gas, no back. Went through my little situation, I'm back. Oh, we gonna mute this, though, because, you know, we don't even want that. You hear me? Yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, you hear me? I'm stepping. I told y'all, I got y'all forever, 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 forever. We got the little, little, little intro. We're going to let him rock, though. We're going to give him his little watch time. You know, we got, always got to support the fellow YouTube community. You know what it is. Everybody say all I do is take other people hard work, take other people content. I give credit where it's due, man. Shout out everybody I do videos on. Shout out everybody, all channels I watch make my videos. Y'all don't know what go go into my videos. But guess what? We about to see what going to his. But SN TV back at y'all with another Chirac Street Legend. Yes, sir. Ski! And this episode is going to be about none other than Amanda Fitch, a.k.a. Big A. Big A. Big A. <laughs> Big A is a product of LCMG or Low City Money Game. Don't know what that is even. I tell y'all all the time, bro. Chicago got so many sets, so many different hoods, so many different politics. I I know a lot, but it's a lot I don't know. And I don't know what LCMG is. Never heard of it. And we about to, Big A was LCMG, I. Huh? Which was later changed to Young Money LCMG, which was later changed to 051 Young Money. Oh, they came up. Okay, okay. Towers. Big A. Okay, was one of the older members, and she is the sister, the older sister of Arius Fish, aka 051 Ario. Big A was alive. They was very much clicked up with 800. What a lot of people don't realize about 051 is that they were actually started on 50th and Evans, and they always used to get together at Revis Park and go who and these guys ended up getting cool with the guys from the drexel buildings and that's when they became lcmg then ym lcmg and then eventually 051 young money they also used to go by burn gang according to certain members 051 and thf used to always get into it on 47 and in school it wasn't until people started losing their lives that it got real bloody. And also, THF drew first blood. A lot of people used to say that 051 Young Money, the majority of 051 Young Money anyway, was hoopers. And that THF kind of bullied them into being who they became. You know, that's what uh the last video said on 051 that a lot of people in 051 was hoopers. And I keep telling y'all, bruh, bruh I, I was a hooper. You know what I mean, niggas, I knew that. A real step on you, bro. Regardless of this basketball or school, whatever. Like, feel me? Like, just cause you hoop don't mean nothing, bro. Niggas come from the same environment. 
Niggas got to go through the same thing you go through every day, bro. Niggas just chose to use his his God-given talent or his God-given ability to sound productive. That don't mean he won't step on you, bro. Like, that was the, always the misconception when I was in school, bro. But you was a hooper, bro. Stay in your lane, this, that, and the other. Little do they know, bro. I know a couple hoopers that'll really <laughs> do that to you. And I know a couple street niggas that'll fold up like a lawn chair. I'm telling y'all, no cop. Like a lawn chair. Ended up no cop. Up. They ended up I didn't see it. No cop. Gangs in the city of Chicago. <laughs> you talking about? According to certain members, Big A was one of the first ones that was turning up for their hood. That's right. A lot of members say that Big A was out in the streets chasing guys down and shooting at guys before a lot of those younger guys even jumped off the porch. Bruh. A lot of the guys that you know, the 051 Mellies, the 051 Montanas, the Aerios, the Arrows, these guys were young as hell and they wasn't even really in the streets. But Big A was one of the trendsetters of the clique. She was doing shit according to some members before 2008, before Zico actually lost his life. I can remember seeing a post by 051 Mansky that actually corroborates what I'm saying now. Some motherfuckers would know how outstanding you were. Sis been popping niggas before 08. The nation miss you, but you talk with the rest of the wise. Watching down on us still got this shit lit. For 10 plus years, long live Big A. Niggas don't know she paved the way for this shit. Happy Y Day. That's crazy. Outstanding member. The streets were very familiar with Big A. They know she'll pull it. The police was very familiar with Big A as well. She had a slew of mug shots from what she had went back and forth to the county. Also, some guy had broken to a police station that was closed down and found Big A on the board with some heavy names from the wise. Damn. This leads me to believe that she was considered a top-notch member in her organization. That's crazy. He said somebody broke into the police station that was closed down. No, no, don't work no more. It ain't in service no more. And seen a whole bulletin board with Nick. Hey, bro, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. It was said that Big A was the driver on a lot of hits and actually some big hits. It's been rumored that she was actually the driver on the new ski hit. And it's been confirmed that she was actually one of the drivers when L.A. Capone got killed. This situation took place on Stony Island at the studio. And everybody pretty much knows about how L.A. Capone died and who did it. But what a lot of people don't know is that 757 is the one that set L.A. up and that Big A was actually there after being called by certain members. That's crazy. It was Miko Buchanan from the Met Boys. Don't know what that is. Mick, who was actually 051 and Rockhead on the hit. All of them would end up telling on each other. <laughs> Mick would end up getting the most time because he was seen as the trigger man with 60 years. Rockhead would get 24 years and Miko would get 45. Man, it's cr like I said, bro, I always tell y'all, bro, the street's been done. It's been finished. This shit happened in what? 20 what? 13? 2014? <laughs> it's 2023. The same shit's going on. Shit's been done. Niggas just always try to glorify the streets, the gang, this, that, and the other, da, 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 man, that shit ain't nothing, bro. The moment they hit y'all with them jersey numbers, niggas gonna start talking every time, bro. So I, I stay to myself. I don't even do dirt, but if I did, it'd be by myself. Y'all keep believing this for this 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 facade, bro. These gangs and and this street politics, bro. This shit is cap. <laughs> A lot of these niggas are full under pressure, bro. That's just how I go. Well, ain't nobody want to go sit down for sixty. Ain't, and ain't a lot of people in this world as taking sixty to the chin. It's a couple, for sure. Ain't a lot of them, though. Uh, you think your man is going to take 60 to the chin by not telling on you? You just bumps your head, shawty. No cap. Michael May stated that on the date of this murder, a subject known to him as Blank, now known as Blank, was Look. working at the music studio at 71st and Stony Island. Blank stated that Blank called Lil Mick, now known as Saki Hardy Johnson, 
and told him that Anderson was at the music studio making music. Mays related that he, Lil Mick Hardy Johnson, and Miko Buchanan were on the block at 51st and Prairie. Hardy Johnson and Miko Buchanan got blank gray four-door tours. They <laughs> called Amanda Fitch. She showed up on the block in her white four-door aluminum. Look, like I said, look, they did all that riot, all that talent, still got to go do 50, 45, 24, and 60. Now they got to go to the compound, they got to go to the, the, the unit. They ain't going to want to show their paperwork because they a rat. But somebody going to make them show their paperwork and they're going to be known as hot. They hold they hold bid. You got 45 years of people knowing you hot. 24 years of people knowing you hot, but you still get spanked and you still told. There's no point of even, like, engaging in it, bro. Stick to yourself. I'm telling y'all, bro. Y'all think that's uh, being with 20, 40 people every day, uh, all right, it's going to bite you on your ass. I'm here to tell y'all right now. If you ain't heard it, you heard it here first, bro. It's going to bite you on your ass. I ain't trying to sound like nobody's father, nobody's mother, nothing. I'm just telling y'all what I'd have seen and what I'd have been through, bro. I see it with my own, too. What Polo G say? That gang should have joked, nigga, all I need is family. No cap. I'm telling you. May stated that Miko Buchanan got a 45 caliber handgun from the gang's hiding place on the block. Buchanan gave the handgun to Lil Mick Hardy Johnson. May stated that he knew the gun to be a 45 caliber semi-automatic pistol because he saw it. May stated that Buchanan drove the torch with Hardy Johnson seated at the front passenger seat. He stated that Hardy Johnson was armed with a 45 caliber pistol. May stated that he and Amanda Fitch followed Buchanan and Hardy Johnson in the white lumina. He stated that they were going to the music studio on Stony Island to shoot Leonard Anderson. Mays sure. stated that when they got to the music studio, Fitch and Mays parked in the lot behind the studio. He stated that Buchanan and Hardy Johnson parked in the alley approximately four houses to the north of the studio. Mays stated that he and Fitch went into the studio to see if L.A. Capone Anderson was there. He stated that Blank told them that Anderson was in the booth making music. Mays stated that Blank made phone calls back and forth to Lil Mick Hardy Johnson. May stated that Anderson went out the back of the studio to use a cell phone. May stated that 30 seconds to a minute later, he heard two shots fired. Mays went out to see what had happened. May stated that he then observed Lil Mick Hardy Johnson standing over Anderson, who was down on the ground. He stated he observed Hardy Johnson holding the 45 caliber pistol in his hand as he stood over Anderson. He stated he observed Hardy Johnson running back to the car that Buchanan was waiting in. May stated that he was still on the back porch of the studio when he observed Buchanan and Hardy Johnson drive away from the scene southbound through the alley. He stated that he and Fitch left the scene before the police arrived. Mays further stated that the following day, Lil Mick Hardy Johnson bragged that he shot Anderson in the face. Man, all right. May subsequently identified photos of Leonard Johnson <laughs> as the victim L.A. Capone, Amanda Fitch's Big A, Miko Buchanan and Saki Hardy Johnson as Lil Mick before the identified photos of Blank. This is not a verbatim account, but only a summary. Twenty thirteen, like I told y'all, we still it's still the same After thing. <laughs> Nine years later. Guys would get on the internet later. mocking him. And Lil Mick, who was the shooter, cut his dread to change his description. At the time when L.A. Capone was killed, Young Money and 600 was beefing heavy. L.A. Capone was actually one of the biggest rappers coming up out of the city of Chicago. For sure. The BDs were already known on a national scale through the Chief Keith and Dirk. A 600 was making its way and LA was in the forefront. So this was probably the biggest hit that took place between Young Money and 600. This hurt 600 bad. As a matter of fact, after LA died, 600 basically fell apart. LA was affiliated with a lot of other BD sets. One in particular being THL, who Young Money was already beefing with. So obviously, THF would do anything to get back for LA. And only a month and a few weeks later, Big A would end up losing her life as well. And on November 14th, 2013, Big A 
people end up going to the gas station. There's a lot of speculation on why she even pulled up at the gas station and what she was there for. But we do know that she was in the car with Rocco, or Rockhead, who was later accused of setting her up. She pulled up to the gas See? station and she was sitting there. All right. What she was waiting on is unclear. A dark colored vehicle pulled up, fired three shots inside the driver's side window, and sped off. Big A will later die at Soldier Hospital. A 24-year-old woman was shot to death in a Woodline gas station. Shortly before 6 p.m., the woman's body was found in a car in the 6600 block of South Stony Island Avenue. Amanda Fitch, 24, of the 4700 block of South Ellis Avenue was pronounced dead at Soldier Hospital at 6.53 p.m., according to the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office. Adrian Housing says she was on her way to collect signatures for an election in the nearby McDonald's when she saw the shooting occur at the BP gas station across the street. I was coming down the street, and somebody pulled up next to this car, and they shot three times through the driver's window. Damn. It was just a dark-colored vehicle. He sped out the gas station. Housing said all three bullets went directly through the driver's side window near the side view mirror. She saw the victim slumped over. Housing was disturbed by the incident, but not surprised. She's recently had to hit the dirt twice while walking on 71st Street. I don't know if it's because of the police presence. I don't know if people are just thirsty, but it's ridiculous. I've never seen the neighborhood go from sugar to shit like it has. And something needs to be done, Housing said. It would later come out yeah, right. in an interview <sighs> that was held by the CPD. I told y'all, this shit cop. And Lil Mick, that 051 suspected that Rocco backdoor Big A. For one, Rocco was in the car when Big A was killed. And couldn't nobody figure out how he wasn't hit. It is unclear who exactly from THF did the hit on Big A. But it is confirmed that it was THF. All I have on the situation <laughs> speculation. Therefore, I won't mention it. And I think that what we can learn from the life and death of Big A is this. Big A and L.A. Capone were killed blocks away from each other. I was just thinking that. I heard Stony Island Avenue. Big A had yeah, no makes sense. business at that gas station. Big A should have known that she was too much of a threat to let her get a pass. And if they ever caught up with her, that they would do her just like any other man that was out there. I mean, but... You Come on, bro. You know what you sign up for when you hop in them streets, bro. It ain't no if, ands, or buts. And if you don't know what you signed up for, you shouldn't be doing it. That's just how I go. I don't care if you man, woman, female, child, whatever. You hop off that porch and start getting yourself in the stuff that you know, feel me, that you ain't supposed to be doing, you know what come with it, bro. It's all that go. You take it to the chair, and that's how you keep it pushing. Feel me? Like, I don't get it, bro. I never understood it. That shit ain't cool, bro. Like, like I said, they be doing all this and that. To each other, niggas be broke as shit. Go get some money. <laughs> Nobody want no money. Everybody want to shoot their guns, but don't want no money. Make it make sense. That shit don't make sense to me. But with that being said, it's Ty Fatty with the Fatty. Make sure y'all stay smart, bruh. Stay dangerous. And I'm going to catch y'all next time. Go.